Hello dear explorers, here I am making a short movie about Aquarius. And because the Aquarius is a sign that is highly unconventional <laughs> and brings changes, here I am today filming in a, in a different direction. So I hope you can still, still hear me clearly and see me clearly even if my camera today looks different. I would like to start the video by saying that today I had a new initiative inspired by the energy of the Aquarius and the initiative is to make once a month uh, parties, <laughs> a kind of um, glam dress parties, this is why today I wear a lot of glitter, uh, to meet and dress nicely and talk and uh, just get out of the routine of being uh, all time in zooms uh, and not caring what we wear, not caring if our camera is on or off. Um, I think that for many of us, style is a big part of identity and the way we express through our style is a big part of the identity. So I would love to see you once a month, uh, to see your best selves, best dressed selves and uh, have a nice time and chat for one hour. So. Let's dive in the subject of the Aquarius. I firstly want to send a huge hug <laughs> to all the Aquariuses I know and I'm so full of energy and enthusiasm because I was, I always felt very inspired by this sign and I have a lot of friends that are Aquarius. So I will try to make a synthesis of what I know to be relevant about Aquarius and please share if it's uh, <laughs> if it's uh, the same that you feel uh, about your activations in Aquarius. So, first of all, the Aquarius is the sign that makes this kind of bridging between the individual energy and the collective energy. So many times people having activations in Aquarius have a very important part that is concerned about their identity, exploring the, their identity, exploring their higher self, uh, expressing their higher self, they invest a lot of en energy in knowing who they are, not being obsessed by who they are, but wanting to know who they are and what their identity looks like. And after they find this and they find unique ways of expressing this identity, they become very interested in the collective and interested in bringing this um, very special blueprint they have into a higher meaning in a collective field. So this bridge is fascinating, one of the fascinating aspects of uh, Aquarius, bridging between identity and collective. The second part that I find very relevant about this sign is that um, the governor, the planet, is Uranus. And Uranus is uh, one of the, the most fascinating for me. It's, I find it to be very relevant in the awakening process. And I find that Aquarians have this role as huge awakeners for us. They awaken us, they, they make us see reality in new ways, they um, open subjects that are new and explore the new with us, inspire us to explore the new. So they awaken us through their electrical mind, through their uh, new ways of seeing life, new ways of seeing sexuality, their or creation. They, they just love the new and inspire us to see the new. So uh, yes, I love Uranus and whenever you work with the Aquarian energy, look also at Uranus, where Uranus is in your chart and uh, take some, uh, take it into consideration. It's a, a lovely planet. And the third aspect I would like to say about um, Aquarius is it's an air sign. So being an air sign, it's very much related to socializing and to high high type of socializing it's uh, like investing energy in very um, spiritual type of conversation in very inspiring and innovative types of conversations so if you want to have the attention of an Aquarius uh, be sure you have intelligent conversation be sure you come with something new on the table and that new that you come with it it better be studied, it better be something uh, interesting you talk about. Um, 
and don't forget they are uh, a fixed sign even if they might agree to new ideas or to your ideas it might take time because fixed signs um, don't always jump <laughs> uh, or don't always uh, you know swing between uh, types of seeing a certain uh, idea so they are inspired by new ideas they are they are inspired by uh, new ways of seeing the reality but they need time to adapt to it they need their own timing more likely to say and um, give them the time and make them come with con new conclusions and i think it would be fascinating and i would like to end telling that something that i hear very often about aquarius and I don't necessarily agree to, and I would like to clarify that, is that they are not an emotional sign. Oh, they are cold, they are mental, they are not emotional. And I want you to say that um, that's not true. <laughs> they actually are quite emotional and they are as loving as any sign. They can have a very lovely open heart. But they are interested in discussing high type of <laughs> high mental ideas. So... Maybe they invest more energy in, in this kind of topics and it's their way of showing they care about you, their way of showing they are interested in, in you. And uh, if they trust you enough, they will give you access to their emotional part. But it's not like a water sign type of emotional energy. It's an air sign. And air signs are a lot about using the mind and using the words and using uh, new ideas as a way to express emotions so they are emotional but in in the head <laughs> in the place of ideas thank you for watching and hope i didn't move you too much my dominant dominant uranus <laughs> moves <laughs> moves a lot and is very enthusiastic and very energetic thank you for listening and meet you soon